I've tested over a dozen of different AI tools to enhance images from grass to people in the renders. And you know what? Most of them don't work as promised. So today I'll show you which tools actually delivers quality and which ones just waste your time and money. If you stay until the end, I will show my personal secrets on how I use AI in my projects and reveal the only right tool for improving people in the renders. It's going to be good. This is exactly what you need. If you don't know me, I'm Ross Plemia, founder of Arquis Studio Plemia Render and Arquis Online course called Plemia School. This channel is where I share what I learned about making realistic and beautiful images for developers and architects. We have 2000 people subscribed and growing fast. I use AI almost every day in my visualization studio to make renders not just good, but truly wow in their realism. The main goal – quality. But over time, the number of subscriptions piled up. Each one costs a little, but together they add up fast and many services, even the so-called free ones, limit functionality so much that you can't really work without paying. So I decided to review everything, cut the unnecessary tools and keep only those that actually deliver results. Today I'll show you 7 AI tools I tested for render enhancement and by the end you'll know which ones are truly worth your attention. I'll be testing each tool on free HD renders so you can clearly see the difference. First, an interior shot. Second, an exterior shot without people. Third, an exterior shot with people so you can judge the fairness of the quality. We'll also explore image to image and in-paint functions for improving renders. First, Magnific AI. Simple, clean interface, very intuitive. I upload our free test renders, select Magnific Upscaler, keeps the setting standards, and it will cost us 35 points. Click Upscale. About 30 seconds later, boom. The detail improvement is insane. It looks like we originally rendered this in full 4K, even though they were HD. If you zoom in, the textures and materials are crystal clear. And now the fun part, the people. People in the renders are tricky. Magnific often distorts faces and hands. The best way is to mask them out from the image and try to upscale them separately. But even then, realism isn't guaranteed. There's another details like the grass and water. It looks really great, but the yard was changed. So we have to mask this and paste it in Photoshop. Now the catch. Pricing. It's $39 per month for 2500 tokens. Most people won't use them all, which means you're technically our pain. And here's a little trick they use. Billing every 28 days, not monthly. Over a year that extra payments you probably didn't plan for. For beginners, $40 per month might feel steep, especially when you can use free alternatives like stable diffusion. But if speed and consistent high quality detail are your priority, the price is fair enough. My verdict, solid results, rock steady quality, I'd rate it 8 out of 10, minus 1 point for the cost and another for the 28 day billing cycle. If it helps you, please subscribe. It helps me. Next up, free pick. This AI service has both an image editor and image upscaler. It's only available for the subscription, but it's a paid function. The subscription is just $6 a month for 7000 points. And here's interesting part. The model behind it is actually Magnific. Let's upload our interior. Here I choose Magnific model. Press it custom, scale factor 2 times, standard ultra, and everything on zero. Upscaling an HD image to 4K costs 180 points, which means you can process around 40 HD images in this package. Press upscale 
and here's the final result. Let's compare with our original one. This is actually pretty good. When I compared the upscaled interiors to Magnific AI and Freepik AI, the difference was almost invisible. For many images, you generally wouldn't be able to tell which tool was used. So here's the deal. If you don't need every single Magnific feature and you want to save money, Freepik is a cheaper and very capable alternative. Perfect for beginners or anyone who needs a large batch of upscaled images without paying more. And of course the people. Same as Magnific AI. Next up, Crea AI. 10 bucks a month and for that you get around 180 images. That's way more than most tools at this price. I've gotta say, I really like the interface here, it's clean, simple, easy to use, and now I've tested it on three renders as previous. Well, let's take a look. Here's the interior, which looks pretty good for this price. Here's the result, with a little bit tweaks. We will fix this. But I think it works really well with the surfaces. Here's our exterior with people. They look pretty distorted. And the last one looks pretty fine. Just take a look at the grass. Quality a bit below Magnific, but for 10 bucks it's a fair trade. I mainly use the Korea Enhance model, but honestly the other models looked pretty much the same. This is one of those tools that just works fine. Now, Leonardo AI. And straight away the vibe is very similar to the Korea. You can even make videos here, which is cool. It's $12 a month for around 200 images. Probably the best price per image deal in this whole list. Now let's move to the upscaler and let's check the quality. It's almost the same as Crea AI, maybe just a tiny bit better with greenery. Grass and plants came out sharper and cleaner. Take a look at our grass, it looks too sharp, but overall seems okay. And also the people, same as usual, people look weird. They're really bad. Faces and hands get messed up, so you'd still need to process them separately. But overall, for $20, it's a great budget choice if you've got a lot of nature in your renders. Alright, project dream. This one really caught me off guard in a good way. It's 10 bucks a month, around 40 HD images. Not a huge amount of the images, but the quality? Wow, let me show you. For example, interior, greenery and surfaces overall. I think it has the better quality than Magnific. Here's our exterior. Just take a look at the grass. I really love the results. It has sharper grass, cleaner textures. Just really nice. And here's the best part. It's way better with people. Still not perfect. You will not see it from the first sight, but let me show you how it works. You have to go to Upscaler, upload your image. As usual, I use default parameters. Now, when we got our image upscaled, here we can select this Enhance Characters parameter, press right here. And now I'm using only default parameters. Click Dream. Here's our result, still not perfect, but much better than most tools at keeping faces and hands looking human. And again, I ran all three of our test renders through it. Interior, exterior without people, exterior and exterior with people. And it came out as the most balanced option overall. All the links to these tools are in description below. Next, let's talk about InPaint enhancement in Photoshop. It's actually nice for quick fixes, like tweaking little details, filling areas or expanding your images, editing backgrounds for your renders or even changing ratio for your image. Select your render, select inverse, click generate a fill and generate. It's actually pretty good. 
Now, it will cost you around $30 per month, but I don't use it every day. It's more of a side tool for me. So after one year of testing, spending over $1,000 and processing thousands of images, now here are my recommendations based on different situations. Here's where the magic happens. My go-to combo is Project Dream plus Stable Diffusion. Project Dream handles the main upscale and detail work. Then I bring it into Stable Diffusion for people. Let's download our file, go to image to image. Then I bring it into Stable Diffusion for people. And the trick is I use in paint mode so I can fix faces, hands, all of the messy details. It takes more time, but the results are worth it. And Stable Diffusion is completely free. Now let's fix our people, move right here, select only masked, sampling steps around 30, here indicate 680, and denoising strengths on 5 for example. Now use Ctrl to manipulate size of our brush, Alt to zoom in, select our face, now go to prompt, type in woman, and here's the most important thing. I have prepared a special negative prompt for people to get the most realistic results. If you need it, you can find the link in the description. And here's the final result which I got with these prompts. I think it looks pretty cool. If this helped you choose the right AI tool for your projects, please hit the like. It tells YouTube to show this video to more people who need great advice, so my choice – Project Dream plus Stable Diffusion. Best results, best value. Project Dream nails the details, Stable Diffusion fixes the people, and together they just work. If you want to try all of those AI tools, find the links below. And if you want to learn how to use AI in your projects and get not only realistic but photorealistic results in your projects, join my online course where you will find a whole course on AI tools. Not only AI course for your projects, but also the core one, the masterminds with live records, the course on monetization of your 3D skills, and whole practicing. And the greatest part is live support with real practice. If you want to learn how to make photo realistic renders from scratch, then enhance them with AI, including making people look realistic, join our course Plemia School. We've got a full AI module and I'll take your work to the next level. All the links down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.